Welcome to my Rhymer. This is my Rhymer camper, my motorhome. And I built it early and I had a bit of an issue. Now my issue was is I wanted to put the bike somewhere. And yes, I've got a bike rack. But we didn't want it sticking out the back. And besides, where am I going to put that? You know? You've got something for the canoe, haven't you? Or the kayak. Anyway, so what I did was I've come into the garage just on the side of the uh, motorhome here. As you can see, that's our garage. It shouldn't be particularly big, but it's our garage. So I thought myself, I want to put my bike in there. So I could put my push bike in there, but how do I hold the push bike so it doesn't sort of like move about all over the place? Now I had to take the wheel off, as you can see here, because, well, the distance from here to here was a little bit awkward getting it in. I just made it cumbersome. It's actually quicker and easier just to take the wheel off because of the quick release, you know, little levers on the front here. So yeah, this makes it really easy. So all I've done is I have made out of wood, because I'm a wood worker, so I thought it makes sense. I'll make it out of wood. I've made like a yoga range with like a bracket to go on the bottom here, which is screwed to the floor, and it accepts the forks on the front of the bike. But equally I've made a couple of um cleats for a strap to go in and uh, one here and one there and the, basically the strap goes right around doubles up and it holds the bike down to this now basically as you can see there the um the forks here where the quick release coming i don't know what you'd call that yoke or i'm not quite certain but it sits over the top in a recess into this hardwood um bracket I've made. Now the base is just a piece of oak that I had laying about and this piece is a piece of beech. I chose the beech because it's harder. You know the wood they used for the old school woodworking benches? You know the ones you stick your knives in and stick your chewing gum to the bottom of? That's what that's made out of and I painted it red because it's kind of makes it easier to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how easy it is for me to take my bike out. Now hopefully we can do this so you can see. So I'm going to bring this down here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I might have to move that somewhere else, I think. Where can I put it? How about there? Is that a little bit further away? That's a little bit better. Da, 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 da. All right, so basically, that these forks sit into a recess that I've cut into this block of wood. I could have made it narrower so it's actually the same width as the slot in the forks, but I want to you know, maintain a little bit of strength. I'll just use the route and you know, made it a little bit neat and what have you. So that's all I did. Make it quite simple. You don't have to do it like that. You could make this out of metal if, that's, if that is your craft. But all we have to do is, we just have to release this strap. Hey, dee 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 dee. It's just one of them cheapy straps you get, you know, like a strap for your rough right and your suitcases and stuff. I just release that off top there, chuck that to one side like so. At the moment, because I've took the wheel off, all the time I've just used a bungee. So I just unbungee it. Dee 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 dee. Probably the most awkward bit. <laughs> remove the bungee. Remove the bungee. So I've removed the bungee. The wheel comes out of the way. Yes, it does. And now I should be able to manhandle the bike out. I'll put my trousers up just in case I'll show you my. Yeah. I've got my scruffy clothes on because I've been working. All I've got to do now, hopefully, I don't knock my camera over. Hopefully. We left it off, off the oak, so I'll show you. So, what I'm going to do is. Basically, we lift it off here, da, 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 like so, and then I can lift it right out. So I'll just put you back down again, and then it's all I've got to do is just lift it off, pull it out the hole at the side, and that's it. How easy is that? So now I'm out here, whack the whack, whack the whack, 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 what? Put the wheel back on, <laughs> and then I'm pedalling up the road, as you do. So let me just show you this without the bike on. Now. There we go, doing this. It's a bit awkward now because we've got sort of minimal space. It isn't very wide angle lens on, on this camera. So there we got it. That is the actual little mount that I've yet made. Now, like I say, this is made of beach and this is made of oak, and I've just screwed it on a bit of glue from behind and then just screwed it through the floor. Make sure the screws are long enough to go right through the floor so they're actually poking out the bottom of the camper. So I'm surprised how thick these floors are actually with all the insulation and stuff. But you can see a little recess here for the forks to sit in. So they literally just sit into that recess on either side. And I just literally, there's nothing to hold it while you actually fix it into place. Then using your two cleats, you can then strap it into place. Anyway, I hope you found that of interest and so maybe give it a go, you know, there might be just ideal for you too. If you don't want to have your bike on the back of your camper, 
for someone to steal, especially if you've got an expensive bike, mine's not. You know, I've had the donkey's years, but I wanted someone for that. Because we're going canoeing, well I am anyway, I'm going to stick the missus in the, in the camp and what have you, and she's going to sit there doing her knitting, and I'm going to go canoeing down the road with my, with my cameras and stuff. Just for a bit of fun. And the dog's going to be barking at me from the bank. And we're in France, and we're doing the little, I can't remember the name of the river now. It's just safe for the Dordogne River. So anyway, that is my little brackets that I hold my bike into my garage on my Rhymer motorhome. Anyway, I hope you found that of interest, and uh, if you'd be most kind while you're here, give me a old like and subscribe and that, and uh, maybe click the little bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy thing in your pocket, and that'll be me uploading another video. Anyway, thank you for watching.